Okay, Sparky. Beautiful. All right. Now Robbie's not here to rudely interrupt you, so go. I only have three minutes left anyway. <laughs> Top mistakes and how to avoid them by the DIYers. Ooh, that's... Sometime we'll have to talk about the DDIY. That's a, that's a three-hour show there, buddy. I know. Well, that's why I was trying to tell you. So, anyway. <laughs> go. The number one is buying inferior products to save money. Too often you buy lesser products just to save a few dollars, and ultimately it costs you more in the end. Uh-huh. So... Fixtures or things like that are one thing. You know, and I've always told people, plumbing fixtures, if you can't afford a ton of money right now, buy a Moan Chateau, buy a $35 faucet. It doesn't matter. That can be changed easily. Mm -hmm. But the stuff you put behind the walls, you don't want to go cheap. You want to put something good there. So, um, And one thing that always drives me crazy is is the copper. Uh, copper, you, know, you should be using L, and people are using M. Sure. And most people don't even know there's a difference yep. other than the price. So I looked no, it up. And no. right now, you know, L is $14 for a 10-footer and M is $9.76. So it's $4 a piece cheaper for a half-inch 10-foot piece, but it's thinner. And it doesn't hold up as well, and it's illegal, but they sell it. <laughs> so, you know, don't use the wrong materials. It also Spend has, the extra money. Yeah, it also has different color paint on it. So that's yes. the difference, too. And I always, well, that's. <laughs> one's blue, one's red, and I never remember the difference. I just I look think, for the letters. I think blue blue is the one you want to use. Okay. Well, you still got to sand it all off to solder it anyway. Yes, exactly. All right. Starting without the necessary supplies. So a lot of people either don't have the right tools for the job. Uh-huh. Uh, they may not have all the fittings, and they might have to run to the store constantly. Yep. And then the other thing, not having the right surprise, is do you have what's needed to protect yourself and your family? personal protection equipment to you put up visqueen barriers so that you don't spread the dust throughout the house uh -huh. you know, you're smart enough to turn off your heat or your hvac system while you're doing demolition yeah yeah you could do that yeah so another one or not just through and do it you just trape through the house just let the dust fly well they finally find those the epa finally find the morons down in texas for flipping houses without doing a, yeah. a ppe or protecting the property so yeah. that was a four hundred thousand dollar hit yeah there you go not securing or preparing the job before starting huh um well you got to start working on your house you need a clean dry secure place to put material oh yeah right i mean you don't want it outside in this weather it freezes it thaws it picks up moisture uh it don't also, don't assume that the truck can get where you're thinking. Trucks loaded with material weigh 60. a great deal and could end up destroying your yard or driveway, right? Or ripping out the wires that go across your driveway. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, you have to think through the size of the vehicles that are going to be doing the work. Uh-huh. Did you do the math correctly? You know, every type of material has a waste factor. So did you plan for that? You know, my favorite's like tile. Depending on the larger the pieces of tile, the larger the waste factor you have to use. But let's use a simple five foot by four foot bathrooms, 20 square feet. So you go by 22 square feet of small tile, you should be fine. But if you're using a large format tile, that's a half a tile. Uh -huh. So you might need to just get two more in case you mess up a cut. Yep. 20 is 25 square feet, just to be safe. That's right. Yeah. All right. That's part of your tip of the week. Part two coming next week. We'll be back right after this. Mighty House will return.